I have to tell you something. I love the Buddymeister. Sure, I know he's a drunk, but I just love him. You can keep it. He's just the best. Oh. Servus, Freunde. My name is Jimmy Cage. And I'm Dennis, the Buddy Meister. We have reviewed more than 500 Indian movies on the channel. And today's one was once again picked directly for us by one of our awesome Masala Meister tier supporters. Vijay Akineni has chosen the 2023 three Telugu language romantic drama Month of Madhu. It's the second film written and directed by Salikant Nagoti. And that's all I have for... <laughs> Right, great. Okay, great. Yeah. So, what's the movie all about? Who's in it? The movie starring Naveen Chandra, Swati Reddy, and Shraya Navil. And I was thinking the whole time, Naveen Chandra, where, where, from where do I know this guy? We've just seen him in Jigar Tanda Double X. He's really? The, yeah, he's this aggressive cop who like kills all the people in the end. He's this cop guy. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was thinking, I know yeah, this yeah, face. Yeah. I was thinking, I know this face, and I was. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, the movie is, uh, it follows the life of a married couple that lives separately and is on the brink of divorce. And it also follows a young girl who comes to India and has an unforeseen impact on them. Yes. 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 So the well, movie gained positive yeah. reviews across the board, I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a Telugu movie, mm -hmm. and um, it's a independent Telugu movie, yeah. which you yeah recognize immediately. Just the just the sound, it's a sing sound, so it sounds mm -hmm. much more realistic mm -hmm. than commercial Telugu movies where everything is uh, is dubbed That's, over. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a fresh approach. Mm -hmm. It tells a kind of bittersweet story. Mm -hmm. but one that can feel very real mm -hmm. and um, it's not uh, following a familiar formula or anything like that it's also not really story driven that much it's much more focused on the characters yeah. and um, the acting of the three central char characters is pretty pretty good for the most part I think I liked Naveen Chandra and Swati Reddy very much I yeah. thought the two of them were great. Yeah. Um, Shreya Navil as is on the brink. is on the brink of being annoying. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I guess the character has to be like that mm -hmm. a little bit, of course, because it's all about this culture clash and coming from America and this yeah. stuff. But I think still it doesn't serve the movie that well. But yeah, we get into that. Yeah, but so uh, I, what I wanted to say is yeah, that I please. totally understand that this movie got uh, positive reviews yeah. because it's yeah. kind of a fresh film, mm -hmm. especially for the Telugu um, industry. Um, overall, I liked it. I yeah. um, didn't love it, but I thought it was sweet. Um, it was um, surprisingly also quite fun. Uh, sometimes maybe unintentional, I'm not sure. Mm. But um, there were some scenes, some elements that almost felt like they were improvised and they uh, injected kind of this fresh energy into it. And um, I had fun with that. It's a movie that's also a bit rough. You definitely feel that it's um, low budget. Yeah, I think yeah. young filmmaker... Mm -hmm. Not that much. Yeah, uh, experience. he definitely is young. I, I couldn't find out his age, but I've saw some pictures of him. Yeah, and he's I mean, it's, really it's, it's it's his second film. Yeah, yeah. Um, Probably in his. 30s, sometimes so. on the brink of feeling a little bit amateurish. Mm. I thought, like some of the direction, sometimes the acting, and especially the editing is kind of um, mm -hmm. bumpy for yeah. sure. There are scenes that um, I don't know why these two scenes come right next mm. after each other. Sometimes we cut back to something where I thought that's not needed right here at that yeah. place. The overall flow of the story was a little bit bumpy. And sometimes I had a not a problem, 
and at this point we are kind of used to it but i had uh, some issues with the tonal shifts yeah sometimes it was very sad very very serious and then we shift to stuff with the young madhu and that's kind of uh, silly and uh, sometimes it didn't quite work yeah. for me but overall i i still enjoyed the movie but i think it's flawed yeah very well said that's it for today <laughs> well no, i think i i also I, I like this movie but i also didn't like it yeah. it's like this this movie is like it feels like two movies for me yeah yeah and i i uh, the, the positives definitely hold the upper hand in this for me, mm -hmm. yeah. But it's this it's this mishmash. All I I think one of the biggest issues in this movie for me is like the the balancing of things because yeah. we have this story of uh, Madhu and Leka, yeah, and Madhu Mati, aka Madhu, who's like coming uh, to India and staying there, yeah. And all this time I was thinking, man. The story of Madhu and Leka is so great, and yeah. he, he they they are they are really good and interesting, fascinating characters mm -hmm. that like they had this subtle. They, they have these arcs. They have arcs, and they have these subtle like changes in their mood, and you mm -hmm. feel that, yeah, something is going on with these characters. But then they have like this rather superficial and more artificial story of Madhu Mati, who has yeah. like this. Um, She's like this um, wise girl from mm -hmm. America who's like this culture clash vibe, coming of age vibe, who yep. just, just just didn't work for me. Yeah, I mean, okay. there, there were some things in there, but especially towards the end when her arc comes to an end, mm -hmm. it's like, oh man, this is what I was waiting for. Yeah, yeah, and then you, I was almost missing like one final scene with her. Yeah, because she's just gone. She's yeah. just gone for yeah. the last like five minutes. Yeah. But the, the, the thing is, yeah, it's like this. It's like this balance because, like you said, there has these. There are also these amateurish feel of this of this movie that you can really like almost um, separate it into into two parts because all that Madhu and Leka do, all this stuff that you see, it looks nice. It looks like it mm. has this. It has this profound depth that you learn something about these people and. Every time some we cut back to Madhu Mati and Daksh or something, it feels like a soap opera. Yeah, yeah? sometimes it has. And I was vibe. I was thinking, ah, it's it, it's kind of annoying. I don't yeah. want this. I I, I, don't, I really don't. I really didn't need this story in mm -hmm. this story because this movie mm -hmm. is not about. It's it's like cramming too many themes into this. I mean, I know that it's like okay, we have different characters. They have different lives, and yep. they kind of intertwine. And mm -hmm. oh, but this is this also. Is, not a movie that really is about how different people interact and uh, like influence other people. It doesn't mm. feel like a movie that way. Yeah. It feels like a movie about Madhu and Leka, about their characters, yeah. and how they are touched by other characters. But uh, <laughs> it, it, it didn't. It didn't work for me. It was, yeah, yeah. It was kind of superficial and uh, yeah. I don't know. And the effect the young Madhu has on uh, these other characters is also kind of slim. Yeah, it's not really that deep what what she's doing, mm. and I felt because with um, Leka and the older Madhu, yeah. we also have these flashbacks, mm -hmm. and you feel like this is like a, a full movie. Mm -hmm. There are these flashbacks, exactly. and then yeah. what's happening in the present, and mm. we see them back then. They were freshly in love, but yeah. they had problems, yeah. and now, um, like twenty years later, yeah, twenty twenty-three, they yeah. are like kind of broken characters, and what what happened? It's kind of a mystery mm. also, and that's like a movie. Mm. And then we have this tacked other on, this, this other on, character yeah. who's also there, and it was kind of bizarre because the movie is also called Month of Madhu, mm. and that clearly refers to the young Madhu mm. because she's staying. Four back weeks. in India for for a month yeah. exactly, um, yeah. But but I can't help. Um, I still enjoyed most of her scenes, mm -hmm. also because she was a little bit annoying. But mm -hmm. the character also was um, painted that way that she should yeah. be a little yeah. bit full of herself, and she's this young girl. But I also thought it was also a little bit uh, just refreshing that there's this. Um, girl who grew up in the United States who's not afraid to talk to a drunk man on the beach mm -hmm. and she's just out there and yeah. doing stuff and she she uh, gifts her some of her family like like a like a vibrator like mm -hmm. like a um, sex toy yeah. sex toy and <laughs> it was like kind of a, a fresh wind mm -hmm. and I, I enjoyed her and I thought the performance was uh, 
loud and uh, shrill yeah. Yeah. and uh, but also fun and energetic and i thought characters like these we don't see them that often mm. in indian movies and uh, i just enjoyed that but also yeah she didn't really interacted that much with the other storyline yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. It's they like made two, an it's acquaintance like two separate things that are happening yeah. beside each other but don't really they try to mix them mm. but it doesn't work because you don't really feel that influence you have this like montage or this scene where um i think his whole his, his the full name is madus madu sudan yeah he's mm. like he's smiling a bit when they're interacting she's bringing him back to life but it's it's not like i really felt that i'm mm. I, I know that the movie wants me to feel this wants yeah. me to get there but still uh, madumati's story feels like okay we need to put this in there to i don't know it just felt like it doesn't yeah. it doesn't blend it doesn't blend yeah, yeah. that well yeah, yeah. Um, so I really thought the whole time thought ah, Madhu and Leka if you just this movie alone would have worked for me mm -hmm. because I thought like this yeah how how these characters are portrayed was very interesting how um, Madhu is like this guy who thinks kind of thinks the world owes him something all the people around him owe him something and he doesn't really get that he has a problem that he has to fix mm. his own way yeah. and yeah and Especially with all these flashbacks from 2003, which are like portrayed in this like different aspect mm -hmm. ratio. Mm -hmm. um, with these flashbacks, it really helps like build their build their uh, relationship, build mm -hmm. all this stuff. And you really want to know what happened there. And it's still, and even to the end, it stays kind of a mystery. Yeah. I mean, you know that they probably both had their part mm -hmm. in this uh, separation. He may be a, a, bit, a bit bored more. and she... Um, but I didn't. I didn't even need more. Mm -hmm. I, th I thought all I needed was I, I got from these characters. I got mm -hmm. from the actors because I thought these two were really great. Yeah. 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 What I liked is that both Madus are kind of uh, loud mm -hmm. characters in their own way. In their own yeah. way. Yeah. He's uh, he has some anger issues. He's an alcoholic. Yeah. He's. Um, also kind of full of himself yeah she's uh yeah she's young also loud also full of herself and we have these two loud characters mm -hmm. the two madus and in between or not really in between but um leka is like this uh, very mature character very calm mm -hmm. um he has uh, she has made up her mind still it hurts a lot that mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't know if she wants to get back with him because there's still there's still love there and uh, what's the name of the actress because i thought she was swati, swati really yeah. she was really really mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. and um very subtle very but, but you very restrained you get a lot yeah. from her without like doing like the the very like uh, out there performance because yeah. i think you have you have a good you have a good like um the good separation between 2003 and 2023 with her mm -hmm. i mean you can see with uh with Madhu, you can see that, I mean, uh, the, uh, Madhu, yep. Madhu Sudan, you can see that he, like, always had this, had this, uh, this, like, dark place inside mm -hmm. him. He's always, like, eh, not, not really there, but she's, like, fully in the relationship, and you see so happy. Yeah. And there are so, be such beautiful scenes uh, between the two of them in 2003. Yeah. And, and you can feel how she changed, because you can see, like, 2023, and her face is, like, whoo, yep. going down, and... Only when she has, like, has the feeling for, ah, I'm f I can be free again. Mm -hmm. I go out and I buy new things. And mm -hmm. you can see like this little change in, in her mood. It's really portrayed very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Also, I just like that the movie presents us with these um, flawed characters, mm -hmm. real characters. Both Madus are very, yeah, can be annoying. Mm -hmm. Yet we accept them as, 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 as human beings. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I like that. Um, mild spoiler alert. Maybe but even already. I don't know. I yeah, said something yeah, we, it's not. Uh, come on, it's not a mystery thriller or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but towards the end, I, I felt like we already um, said it. Um, the, the connection between the two Madhus is very um, superficial, and mm. I just felt overall the movie was a bit maybe underwritten or undercooked, mm -hmm. especially. Um, towards the end there were some things that I found a little bit unbelievable like um, there's this yoga teacher yeah. which Bazooki, was yeah. also um, 
could have been fleshed out more. Yeah, because there's this nice scene that she has with uh, Madhu when she like they are on a uh, Madhu fixes a date for Madhu and yeah. Bazuki and they have this moment like together. And I thought yeah. this scene was quite nice. I, I mean, it was acted very very yeah. nice because she um, Bazuki, the yoga teacher tells Madhu about uh, losing her husband three years yeah. ago and all this stuff. I, I thought it worked fine, but it's not, it's it's also like, yeah, just on the surface. Yeah, I, I like the scene, <clears throat> but I thought it was, I, maybe it's just me, yeah. but I thought it was very unbelievable okay. that this still yeah. young woman would I accept know. a blind date with an alcoholic it's with a sex anger date, issues. More or less, or I think it was like... Uh, it was very, I, I thought... Really? She's okay with this? She I know, a guy. Know he's guy. 40. He's an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of bizarre. But the scene yeah. itself was nice. It yeah. was a real kind of human scene. And I like yeah. the scene a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like the, 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 I think the director tried to put a lot of things in there. And there are things that are really felt profound. Mm. But there are so many other things in there. Like only we were only on the surface. And it could have been... It could have been more if, like, um, the focus, if the focus mm. was put on the right things, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Because for me, it's still, as much as I like this movie, it still felt like, it still felt like there's so much potential and it felt like two different movies mm. and some things that really didn't fit. Mm. And so it's, like, still fine and I would recommend you to watch it, but it's still, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, interesting. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. an interesting yeah. movie. Yeah. There are also some, some songs in the film. Unfortunately, yeah. there were no subtitles. Mm. Um, yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Songs were, were fine. Mm -hmm. One had this uh, little segment that was a little bit too much about live your life. Oh, yeah. So, something like that. Yeah, that's not, it was my, a that's not bit, my thing. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's really sure. not my thing. Yeah, but overall, um, yeah, they were fine. Yeah. Um, anything else? Um... No, I oh, think there I was mean, also the Upendra is also in the film. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing. Yeah, Upendra in the, in a, is in the in movie. In a flashback, they were attending a Upendra movie, and yeah. it was awesome. And they even say something like, "With Upendra, you." I don't know, but they talk about him in the intermission. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I wonder which movie it was. It, it's, I, I no think idea. it was. It it looked like it was like his horror movie because they were like in the graveyard or something. Mm. And um, that scene also showed me that it's not always okay, like to scream and shout in cinemas. In cinemas, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought in India it's like, yeah, all the time it's like scream as loud as you want, dance doesn't matter, but not. No, no, these not guys were you really watch annoying. A movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what would you say in German about Month of Madhu? I would say, Month of Madhu besteht für mich aus zwei Teilen. Einer davon ist Madhus und Lekas Geschichte. Der ist berührend, warmherzig und tragisch. Die, the other, der andere ist Madhu Matisse Geschichte und der ist zu oberflächlich und aufgesetzt. Insgesamt überwiegt aber das positive Gefühl. Okay. I don't know if the grammar is right in my German, but <laughs> just, yeah. You're yeah, still learning. <laughs> Month of Madhu ist frisch und teilweise richtig entzückend. Besonders dank der gefühlvollen Darsteller. Ein klein wenig amateurhaft und nicht, ans, und nicht ganz ausgereift wirkt der Film aber auch. Yeah. So, uh, what would you... I give Month of Madhu 6 out of 10. It's more like 6.3, but I don't do that. For me, it's also 6 out of 10. It's more like 6.2, but I don't do that either. Better than I thought. Jimmy! Yeah? Did you know that Visak, short for Visakapatnam, the city where this movie takes place, by the way, it's the capital of Andhra Pradesh, yeah. is the only city in India that has two ports. The Visak port and the Gangavaram port. Didn't know that. <laughs> you can see the port in the background when yeah. uh, Madhu and his buddy are sitting there drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. And he tells, uh, he tells Madhu about how much uh, weight he lost because yeah, the shirt yeah, yeah, is yeah. So, so big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see and that? I think that, see that? that was <laughs> like just like one long continuous shot with yeah. no cuts. They did yeah, something it's, it's like a, that it's two a very or three nice times. Scene. I thought these like this... Yeah. Um, two drunk guys just talking is... I, I, yeah. I like stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. All right, then I think that's it. Yes. You can find us, follow us, and support us on patreon.com slash the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all we have to tell. Mm -hmm.